on top eight monk to a brand new series that i'm going to be starting where basically i'm just going to discuss with you a certain topic and the topic i want to talk about today is the three lane map designs used in pretty much every map that's been in any call of duty game there's been a few maps which haven't followed this three lane map design and they've generally been the maps that haven't been that good so what I want to talk about is why the three lane map design works really well and why those maps which have it play out so well and also the other games which use it and the maps that use it and why that makes it such a good map design. So as I said pretty much every map in Call of Duty does use this three lane map design and it works so well because it gives you two flanking routes and the main route and the main route is where everyone seems to congregate and where you have all your main gunfights going down. What also works really well is that the middle lane is normally a lot more open so that's where you find where your snipers like to play and your side routes are generally a little bit more complex. It means that you have a lot more cover to move through so then you can have those longer range firefights down there but you'll generally just use them for getting around behind the enemies so then you can flank them in the mid. Where generally they'll just clog up for you to go run behind and get the flanking kill. But this also feeds into the next point that I want to make with the three lane map design. And that is that in Call of Duty especially, the spawn system works really well with this three lane map design. Because you do have this three lane map design, it makes it a really clear layout. So it means that when you do push into one end of the map, they can really easily spawn out. Because generally these maps are just mirrored on either side. So it means that the spawn system work really well. It's not just Call of Duty that uses this three lane map design, you do see it being used quite a lot in pretty much all the first person shooter games. One game which uses it quite a lot is CSGO. In CSGO you've got Dust 2, it's the most played map in the game and it's the most well known map. This is most likely because of how it plays out, it does have the three lane map design meaning that you have the really nice sniping route down the middle where all your AWPers can play. Then you have those more complex side routes. You have A long which is where all your assault rifles and any AWPers will push up to try and get onto that A site. And then you have B tunnels on the other side which is where generally you'll make your sub pushes and your pistol pushes because this is a much more confined environment where you can play out much better. This just means that the three lane map design provides really good environments, completely different environments for all of the different weapons in the game. That's why it works so well. And if you look at pretty much any map in CSGO other than a few of the new ones which have been made by different mods, any of the core maps that which have been created by Valve themselves or any of the main modders, You'll see that in the map it might not be that clear but you will still have them three lanes, you'll have the mid, left and right. And what the three lane map design means is that you have that really ordered layout, it means that you have face to face combat and then you do have the flanks as well. And it just means you can have really tactical gameplay and it's generally a more competitive style of map. In the maps which don't follow this, in games such as Battlefield and Armour, it's more of an open war style of gameplay. But you should want to have the more open style of maps, so all your vehicles, so your tanks and your planes have a lot of room to manoeuvre. Because they are so huge, because you do need your vehicles to be able to move around a lot. And you do want to have them really long range gunfights with your snipe. It means that these maps are generally a lot more open, those are in the sort of conquest type game modes. But then if you do shrink them down and go into the TDM style game modes that you do still play on them maps, You'll find that in those small areas where it's generally in a little town or a village, you'll still find that three lane main design. So if you look at Golmud Railway, it's massively open in Conquest, but if you shrink it down into the Domination or TDM style, you'll go into that main little town where you've got your middle lane, your left lane, and then your higher up right lane. This just provides a really good overlook for the snipers and all the long range places for your assault rifles, and then you've got all the buildings for your submachine guns to play in. It just means it provides a lot of variety for all of your different weapons and it makes the spawns work really well but you still have that nice ordered style of play. The three lane map design is my favourite type of map design. I don't really like any of the open style ones unless I am playing a battlefield when I am playing in a vehicle. If I'm just playing as infantry I won't want to play in a big open conquest map. I will want to be playing on something like a TDM or Domination. So because you do have that three lane map design it makes it a lot more ordered. It means that you can push up and get those easier kills. And it also means that you're more likely to find the enemies because they get funneled into one of those three lanes or they're sitting at the back of the map waiting to get the kills. And because it is a smaller map design generally, it does mean that you get into a lot more faster gunfights and you're not just running around a lot. An example of a map in Call of Duty that didn't work very well because it didn't have the three lane layout was Stronghold and Ghosts. Ghost is seen by the community as one of the worst Call of Duty games ever made, but I think that a few of the maps that were designed in the three lane system, maps like Freight, Sovereign and Octane worked out really well because the guns in that game were pretty good and the three lane map design that were made into them did make it play out pretty well. But the play style of Call of Duty and all the weapons that were put into that game it didn't work very well for Stonehaven because that was just a long range sniping map. They put it in as a long range tactical sniping map but it didn't really work out very well because snipers in Call of Duty just want to quick scope and no scope so they don't want to be sitting at their back playing like a battlefield player would when they're using a sniper. So that's been my little talk on the three lane map design in most of the FPS games that you see. 
If you have any topics you'd like me to cover, please make sure that you put them in the comments down below. I want to talk about things you want to hear me talk about. If you want to hear my opinion on anything, let me know and I will talk about it in next week's episode. Try to give me things that are gaming related. If you want to give me something that isn't gaming related, still put it in there. I'll have a little think about it and I will cover it if it is relevant. So if you have enjoyed, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.